Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry I haven't really made any videos for a little while. I've been busy with school and swimming and whatnot, work, and haven't really gotten around to doing any reviews or anything lately. But now I have. So this is going to be a look at the Benchmade 940, which is a fantastic blade. Very attractive looking knife and very functional. Uh, so, let's jump into it. Uh, let's start with the blade steel. It is made out of S30V. S30V blade steel stamped, or uh, I guess etched in the upper portion of the blade. Uh, speaking of the blade, it is a reverse tanto with an upper swedge, false upper swedge, so it's not sharpened. Um, it's a very very good. It's got a, a little bit of a belly, but uh, I think just the right amount. And it's a very good piercer for like cutting cutting into cardboard and I don't know various things, whatever you have to pierce through. So very good in that role. It's got a thick, very thick upper tip. It's very very strong. It comes from a thick point, tapers down a little bit, and then gets even thicker towards the top. Which I actually like that. I was very hesitant to, or hesitant to, between the 940 right there. This is Benchmade's catalog, and the 941, which has a clip point, or 943, sorry, which has a clip point blade and black handles and a purple titanium insert, which this one has green handles and I said blue, right? Yeah, it's blue. Okay. So this one has a purple titanium insert and green handles, which I didn't really like at first, but I really got to liking it. It's very attractive. Uh, that back spacer is very, very cool. I'll zoom in a little bit more for you guys. Uh, so the blade length is 3.4 inches. Um, the overall length is 7.87 inches. Uh, closed length is 4.47 inches and the weight is 2.9 uh, ounces so it's a very light blade it's uh, a little bit heavier than the mini grip Tillion from Benchmade and I won't even get into this because this thing is pretty much like a brick with all those stainless steel liners and whatnot uh, so a little size comparison for you right there so it is a little bit longer blade but it's very comfy in hand it's a very comfy blade I'll show you right there get all my fingers around it it's a very very comfortable uh, no functional jimping or anything but that's perfectly okay because you get a really good grip on it with that little finger choil down there um, it does feature the axis lock which is very smooth this thing's like butter just glides back and forth. Um, let's see what we got here. It, the handles are anodized aluminum and it doesn't wear at all really. It's held up pretty good. Along with the pocket clip that hasn't really shown a whole lot of wear unlike my uh, mini griptilian here. Well so far. Uh, all the screws are blackened. I think that goes pretty good with the handle. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so, oh, about the blade, it isn't hollow ground, I'm 99% sure, I'm pretty sure it is flat ground from the top portion down, down here, uh, you could like rest it on a table and what have you to test that out, but it is flat ground, sorry about that little racket, uh, it's flat ground, or, yeah, uh, let's see, it does have 410 stainless liners in there, in case you're wondering, and, man, I can't really say a whole lot more about this, it is just a fantastic knife, I only paid about, uh, $140 for this, uh, that includes shipping, so I think it was a pretty good deal, uh, well worth it, it's a very comfortable knife to, slip into your pocket and clip on there. Uh, 
It's very smooth knife, very functional, I got thumb studs. Very, very good knife. It can almost function as a gentleman's knife, which, or tactical knife if you like to carry blades for self-defense, which I don't, because I'm not really one to carry that. Um, let's see. Uh, by the way, just this catalog right here, Benchmade's catalog, you can go on their uh, website and actually have one sent to you for free, so uh, you guys can do that. They got a ton of cool knives in here that you should check out. Um, so, I guess that's my two cents on the Benchmade 940. So I'll give you guys a little close-up there in case you guys wanted to see it. See that purple backspacer in there? Uh, the little stainless steel liner only goes about to here. So I don't know if you can really see. I'll get my flashlight. Um, yeah, they don't go very far. But very solid knife. Uh, great lockup, by the way. No side to side, up or down. Um, very functional blade. Uh, I recommend it to anybody who is looking for a new everyday carry or, yeah, everyday carry blade. Uh, that's willing to pay about 130 to 180 bucks, which I wouldn't pay more than 150 for this knife. But very very cool design and recommend it to anybody so hope you guys enjoyed the review and i will see you guys later bye bye